In the national runner-ups, UC Santa Cruz, we have Raymond Cassio, head coach Paul Leon, and Kyle Donahue. Paul, I'll start with you. Just want to just talk about the match tonight and the experience this weekend in general. Unforgettable experience. Um, you know, New Paltz definitely um, elevated as the match went on, and huge congratulations to them on being the 2019 championship. Um, hey, we were just very happy to be here. We played our hearts out. We left it out on the court. Can't ask for much more than that. Seniors left more than just a runner-up championship trophy in our, in our trophy case. They left, you know, a legacy for our freshmen and our underclassmen that goes beyond just the four years. This is going to put us back on the on you know the national stage for future years. This is going to garnish more recruiting looks. This is you know it goes. It's huge for our program to be here. So uh, I want to thank Keen for the tremendous host. Um, you know and Car and uh, Carthage, uh, Fonbon, Stevens and um, and New Paltz for being you know credible opponents to give us a run for our money and. You know, uh, we wouldn't trade this experience for anything. So if we were to do it all over again, I would hope that we would be in the same position that we are now. Maybe, a of course, contending a little bit differently, but at the same time, just continuing to support each other the way we have been supporting each other this whole weekend. Paul, your defense had been so good. Um, what was it about New Paul's that you just were not able to bother them enough, uh, maybe with blocking, uh, to just spark you guys for a, a section of time? Yeah, uh, Matt Grace really balanced out his offense. Um, you know, they had four double-digit uh, kill leaders, so um, you know that very much put us in um, a situation where we were having to make a lot of in-game corrections. Yet at the same time, they seemed to be um, in system more often than not. Um, we we won the first set barely siding out higher than they a uh, higher percentage than they were, but by the third and fourth set. Um, you know, our serves weren't really able to take them out of a three-pass scenario, and they were just gelling um, on all on all fronts. So it, it was just more of them playing really well. It wasn't necessarily us playing really bad, but, uh, you know, a lot of bounces and calls went in their favor and um, some untimely serves by us. It just kind of was just a, a timing thing rather than a performance. But, uh, you know, again, credit to them because they elevated as the sets went on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Ray, uh, you know, they had a – uh, probably a better blocking team that you saw last night. Uh, how were they just able to uh, maybe bother your swings? Um, you know, you, you sent a couple wide, uh, j just something that um, you hadn't done last night. How were they just able to disrupt you en a little bit or enough? Yeah, I mean, they, they have a very large block. Um, their middles are big. Their middles close out well. Um, so a lot of the swings where I was taking last night, not getting blocked, tonight there was a block there. Um, I There was more that I could have done than – what I did tonight uh, in terms of getting around the block, but that's the way it goes. Um, credit to their their block was really good, and it got they got hands on things, and they also got blocks. So um, I thought we played well, and it just wasn't our night. Mm -hmm. And Ray, you were a kid, a Pittsburgh kid that uh, took a chance to go cross country, uh, not just for the weather. Uh, how about just you know you took a chance at a program that. Uh, was kind of on the bubble maybe during that period of time, uh, maybe looking back on on uh, j just just that opportunity that you took and, and how this flourished for you. Yeah, um, I often regard it as the best, uh, the best choice of my life um, to go out there and play uh, volleyball for them. They had great academics and the volleyball team, although we there were some things with the athletics department um, where they weren't, we weren't able to, we were losing funding. Um, we, I had, I had full confidence in the athletic department to write that ship, and I was really ready to go and play for such a prestigious program. And it's been incredible. And I would never trade the four years of my life for anything else. Um, it's just been, it's been incredible. It's been a great ride. Mm -hmm. uh, Kyle, over the course of the match, uh, how about from your perspective, uh, just, just not being able to get into a rhythm, I'd say, is maybe. Uh, and uh, not being able to maybe play as, as fast and loose as you guys were last night. Uh, what, what were things from your perspective, what you saw? Um, I think in the past few games, we've done a really good job of playing like there's nothing to lose. Um, and it's been working for us against teams like Stevens, Carthage, Fontbonne. We didn't even expect to be in the tournament, to be completely honest. And when we did, all we wanted to do was prove everybody wrong about us. And we did exactly that 
and still have done exactly that. Um, tonight, I think, on the stage of the national championship, I think most people on the court felt a little bit more pressure than usual, and I don't think we were playing quite as loose as we had been. And despite the fact that we had said we we have nothing more to prove, like this is the farthest UC Santa Cruz men's volleyball has ever been. The thought of winning that championship and taking it home over New Paltz was crazy. And people, most of us, um, felt a little bit more pressure than we had in the past. Mm -hmm. uh, last one for me, uh, Coach. I, this might be a season you, you're probably going to refer to many years down the road. Uh, you know, you had you know the tough schedule you had. Um, and then the, all the changes you had to make. Uh, how about maybe how you'll look back on 2019 someday, um, 10, 20 years down the road about, I mean, you guys could have been down and out, and obviously you guys climbed out of a, out of a difficult hole uh, at some points in the regular season. Yeah, I mean, we're always striving for perfection um, in one way or another, and especially in, in our practices. Um, again, I mentioned last night that we, we train a lot of our guys to fail in a, in a very positive manner or in a controlled setting, you know. Um, so w when I look back at this season, yes, it, it was definitely a lot. And, you know, taking into account the postseason with the regular season, and now we're at nearly 40 matches in a, in a season, that's, it's definitely overkill in a way. Um, though at the same time, I mean, each of those 16 losses proved so pivotal for us to be able to rebound in a way to inspire getting better in that practice the next day and to inspire wanting to play at a higher level, at a, at a national level. So um, in, a, in a way, I, I can't say that I would do it over again. There uh, are certain weekends that I would tweak and um, I would kind of look back at how it affects our academics, given that we're on a quarter system versus a semester. So I never want to schedule anything that puts us in a disadvantageous position, whether it's academics or athletics. And, this year was kind of right on the border with the a athletics, with the strength of schedule of you know who we ended up playing. The 13 nationally ranked opponents, and we went four for nine against them. Um, so we got to find a way to swing some of those, uh, you know, swing some of those nine into our four category, so that uh, we're not sweating so much whether uh, we're getting selected or not. We kind of know what we're training for, and it's it's, it's going to always be for that postseason. Yeah. Can I touch on that question for a second? Um, we, you, you asked where this season will, we're looking back in like 10 to 20 years, um, we just talked about it downstairs, we think that this season, the things that we did this season is going to continue into the next few seasons where we won't look back at this as a opportunity missed in a grand scheme of things, we'll look at it as an opportunity that we move forward in and we'll get national championships after this, so I think that's... Right Carl, you guys come out and fire and win the first five points and then really control the first set pretty much from start to finish. I mean, what do you think changed between the first set and the second set? Credit to them. I think they made a lot of good adjustments. They picked up their serve and pass um, like crazy. I think they came out a little bit nervous. And then after losing the first set, they really settled into their game. And they started swinging more aggressively. They started serving really well. Um, I think it's not so much that we dropped off. I think it's that they picked up their game and we didn't adjust fast enough. You know, Paul, I was going to ask you, I mean, they hit 362. I mean, you just, a night like this, you just have to tip your cap to them? Yeah. Um, you know, Kark absolutely deserved that MVP. He's been playing out of his mind all weekend. He had help from a first-team All-American on the outside. We're having to worry about the middle of the court. There's a lot of things that's going into our blocker's mind in those moments. Um, We've been swarming a lot of these high-ranking teams in the first early points of each set. It's very much played to our favor. I'm not quite sure if it's us just getting that hyped in the locker room and just wanting to, you know, just play ball, um, or if it's really the guys understanding that those first points are just a coin toss for anyone to go earn and, you know, make a statement. Um, and for them, they use the second third and fourth set as an opportunity to also make that statement known, which is uh, that their passing line was not going to, uh, um, you know, for all those easy serves that we gave them, that they were going to take, take those opportunities and take those high-risk swings. Um, our guys in those, same, in those same moments kind of took more timid um, managed play, tip rolls, et cetera, 
Um, and you know, for them, they just kept swinging at our block and we try, we were trying to go around the block. So it was just a different mentality on the attack and, um, they had the right formula. Anything else? Coach Paul, on a personal note, you played for this program. You played in the NC2A tournament and now uh, you're probably the first person to be in the tournament and then coach in the national final on a personal level. What does it feel like taking this program from when you graduated to where it is now? Um, familiar feelings to what I felt when I was a player as well. Um, just areas of improvement for myself. Um, always being, um, you know, analytical in, t in my approach on how I, how we got here and how I can schedule my season and so forth. Um, you know, on a personal level, you know, this is something that it's definitely, it almost feels like some closure a little bit. I've been striving for this for so long. Um, that now that I'm here, it's just kind of taken in the sights. Um, but knowing that I know the path to get here, I won't forget it. And I'm hoping that um, whether it's with next year's squad or future squads, that we continue to replicate the same formula that our seniors left behind. But it doesn't need to be the, the uh, exact same dish. You just take the ingredients and create something else, something that's in their own image and, and what they want to see going forward. It's just taking away from uh, all our positive experience, all of our negative experiences, and coming out the other end knowing that this was just an invaluable experience for everyone involved and that w we earned uh, brotherhood for life. So uh, we were talking downstairs that, you know, the, uh, these guys will be wearing slugs on their on their shirts for more than uh, just, you know, are their four years here, they're slugs for life. So we're excited on what we did here and we're excited to get back to work. Ray, will you check the trophy, or will somebody carry the, tro the trophy onto the plane, you think? I'm, I'm not, not sure. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's hard to say. I think that we'll probably put it on the plane with us, because we don't want that thing to get lost in, uh, any, in any of the airport and checking stuff. That trophy has a seat of its own. The national runners-up. Congratulations, gentlemen. Thank you.